Hey, what's going on people? It's your boy Moose here. Welcome back to another video. Now before we start this one, I would just like to say Merry Christmas to you all. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Spend some time with your family if you were lucky enough to get to. I know personally I get to spend some time with my, you know, my parents and my brother, but unfortunately due to COVID, I was not able to actually go and see the rest of my family, which I do every single year. So it's kind of a, a little bit sad on, on that part. So if you guys are in the same situation as me, I feel for you, but I hope you guys have the most amazing day. And I'm so, so, so happy that you guys took the time out of your day to spend Christmas with me as well by watching this video so thank you guys so much happy holidays anyways in this one I'm gonna be going over my settings because I get a whole lot of questions on you know what settings I use because everybody comes by my stream and asks me the same thing and everybody comments on my videos and says yo do a settings video we want to see your settings so here it is now I want to let you guys know right now this is just what is comfortable to me using my settings is not gonna make you a quote-unquote better player it very well might if you really get used to it and you know if you keep playing with it but like I said play what is good for you guys what's good for me is not always gonna be what's good for you I've always played on a higher sensitivity with no restrictions so that is why I use this one as opposed to you know somebody who uses classic with a low sensitivity as you guys are gonna see on the screen right now it is the linear 5-4 with a small looked at zone as well as 5 on my per optic settings for everything up until the 4 times. Now the reason why I do linear is because it is your raw input and I feel like having my raw input it's way better than you know something aiming for me because it kind of throws me off and I've always felt like by running classic or by running steady response curves that they really just throw me off at the end of the day so that's why I went with linear so if you guys are into like your raw input and you guys think that you have a way better time using it i definitely definitely recommend you using the linear 5-4 loadout now if you guys are used to the classic response curve or you guys are used to the steady aim or whatever response curve that isn't linear if you guys try this out you guys are gonna have to stick to it because i promise you actually i can't really promise you but i mean i saw my game take off from what i thought was about like like a 7 7.5 like drop in 20s like and 4ks maybe like every like like every day to like dropping like two to three and that's that's just so the truth and what happened when I was uh when I made the switch back in like season two and I never really looked back from there because honestly guys I felt like my gameplay was getting better by using these settings but with that being said you can get better with any setting that you really play with it could be mine it could be somebody else's it could be your own it's whatever you are most comfortable with but if you feel like you guys are plateaued if you guys feel like like, you know you aren't doing the greatest like you should be you feel like you are a way better player than what you were really showing I would definitely try to mix it up a little bit and possibly try out these settings for yourself just because it's always good to get something fresh there and if you stick with this and you actually really like it it's your raw input guys like I said it's not like restrictive when you're looking in your field of view you don't have like a certain tug one way or a certain tug the other especially when you're aiming it is genuinely your raw input and it's gonna be really really hard at first I'm not gonna try and sit here and say oh as soon as you use these settings you're gonna be amazing maybe you might pick these settings up and you might be absolutely terrible with it and you don't want to continue with it or you try it out for a week and you guys still don't like it it's not for everybody and there is no quick way to get absolutely amazing at the game itself through settings you guys have to get used to a setting and you guys have to stick to it and work to try and get better at the game with all that being said you guys have been watching what I've been doing in the range every single time I get a chance and that is with these settings Settings. So if you guys don't believe me, just watch some of the gameplays um, when I tell you that I feel like my aim is pretty decent compared to a lot of controller players. I'm not going to talk your ear off too much. I think you guys have heard all the settings that you want to hear. So here's some gameplay to back up what I've been doing. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So leave a like on it if you did. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Consider subscribing if you're new. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your settings are and if this was helpful to you. Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for continuously supporting me. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later. Wow. 
Well, well we tried. Shit on you, fucking idiot. Bob, where's your bub? I'm getting nice, man. Broke on that wraith, broke on that wraith. I just still. Oh, what just happened there? He ult excelled for that ult 100% yeah. bro. I can't even close much to them. I think we could all use a pick me up. Hostile right here. You little, you're getting finished for sure in front of Moose and the other guy. I'm trying to protect you, dog. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious, dude. I can't. My aim just went to poo poo. Hey. Right there, I think. 